Hello and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today we'll be talking about the treasure of purpose. Thank you for watching The Softer Side, storytelling therapy and life coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. Today's topic, again, is the treasure of purpose. And Eleanor Roosevelt had this to say, the purpose of life is to live it to taste experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and richer experience. Has anybody ever asked you, what is your purpose in life? What is your passion? Have you had that discussion? Have you thought about it for yourself? Do you still wonder what your purpose is? I think My purpose is just to live a happy life and to bring calm to a anxious world. And I hope that that helps you as well as me. The brain likes patterns and consistency and it likes to stay the same with things that it knows are safe and are working. We need to evolve beyond that by managing our thoughts. You can create any emotion that you want. You don't have to wait for something outside of yourself. When you think passionate thoughts, you feel passion. Effortless passion comes from that automatic, habitual thinking that we can program and learn through practice. Our subconscious will just take it over and think it for us. We'll have that experience of that emotion with very little effort on our part, and so we'll feel like passion is just alive inside of us. It's not. It's because we've made a deliberate choice at one point to think those thoughts, and now they're automatic. But it will feel effortless. Eckhart Tolle, the author of A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose, said this, As soon as you rise above mere survival, the question of meaning and purpose becomes of paramount importance in your life. There is no substitute for finding true purpose, but the true or primary purpose of your life cannot be found on the outer level. It does not concern what you do, but what you are. That is to say, your state of consciousness. You do not become good by trying to be good but by finding the goodness that is already within you and allowing that goodness to emerge. But it can only emerge if something fundamental changes in your state of consciousness. Your life has an inner purpose and an outer purpose. Inner purpose concerns being and is primary. Outer purpose concerns doing and is secondary. Nelson Mandela said, There is no passion to be found playing small in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Now let's hear the story of the treasure of purpose. Once upon a time, there lived a wise man named Ezekiel. He was the mayor of a small village. Everyone respected him, and his views and opinions were well regarded. Many people came to him seeking advice. His son Jacob, however, was very lazy and used his time trying get-rich-quick schemes with his friends. His values were centered on his own pleasure and becoming instantly wealthy. Although his ideas had yielded no money for him, he continued to obsess about becoming rich. The years passed, and as Ezekiel grew older, he began to worry about his son's future. He recognized the need to pass on something to Jacob so that he could take care of himself and his future family. One day he called Jacob to his room and said, My son, 
you are now more than old enough to learn to take responsibilities and understand life. I want you to find the real purpose of your life, and when you find it, remember it always, and you will lead a life full of happiness and joy. Then he handed Jacob a bag. When Jacob opened the bag, he was surprised to see four sets of clothing, one for each season. There was also some food, a little money, and a weathered old map. Ezekiel continued, I want you to go find a treasure. I have given you a map of the place where the treasure is hidden. You need to go and find it. Jacob loved this idea and was excited to find the promised treasure and the wealth he had always desired. The next day, he eagerly set out on his journey. He had to travel very far across borders, forests, plateaus, and mountains. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. Along the way, Jacob met a lot of people. He was helped by some with food and by others with shelter. He also came across mean and desperate people who tried to rob him. Slowly the seasons changed, as did the landscapes along with it. When the weather was unpleasant, he halted for the day and continued on his journey as soon as the weather cleared. Finally, after a long year, he reached his destination. It was a cliff. The map showed the treasure was placed below the cliff under a tree. Upon spotting the tree, he began to dig around it. Jacob searched and searched around the tree, under it, on it, but found nothing. He spent two days looking and digging for the treasure. By the third day, he was so exhausted and depressed that he decided to leave. Disappointed over his failure of not finding any treasure and angry with his father for sending him on this pointless quest, Jacob headed back to his home. On his way back, he experienced the same changing landscapes and seasons. This time, however, he halted to enjoy the blooming flowers in spring and the dancing birds in the monsoons. He stayed in places simply to watch the sunset in paradise or to enjoy pleasant summer evenings. Since the supplies Jacob carried were gone by then, he learned to hunt fish, and gather his meals. He also learned how to repair his clothes and shoes and to find shelter. He was now able to determine the hour of the day by the position of the sun and plan his journey accordingly. Jacob also learned how to protect himself from wild animals and from those he judged as dangerous. He met the same people who had helped him earlier. This time, Jacob stayed a few days with them and helped them in some way to repay them. He realized how nice they were to an ordinary traveler who had nothing to offer them. When he reached home, he realized it had been two years since he had left. He walked straight into his father's room. Father, he said. Ezekiel immediately jumped to his feet and hugged his son. So, how was your journey, my son? Did you find the treasure? he asked. The journey was fascinating, Father, but forgive me, for I was not able to find the treasure. Maybe somebody took it before I got there. He surprised himself by what he just said. He was no longer angry at his father. Instead, he was asking for forgiveness. There is no reason to apologize, Jacob. I found no treasure there either when my father sent me to search. But... Why did you send me to find it then? Jacob asked. I will surely tell you why, but first, you tell me. How was your outbound journey? Did you enjoy it? Of course not, Father. I had no time. I was worried someone else would find the treasure before I did. I was in a hurry to reach the cliff. Jacob continued, but I did enjoy the journey on my way back home. I made many friends and witnessed miracles every day. I learned so many different skills and the art of survival. There was so much I discovered that it made me forget the pain of not finding the treasure. 
Ezekiel said to him, Exactly, my son. I want you to lead your life with a goal. But if you remain too focused on the goal, such as when all you wanted was to be wealthy, then you will miss out on the real treasures of life. The truth is, life has no goal at all other than to just experience it and grow with it every single day. It is when we set out in life without trying to associate any meaning or greater purpose to it that we find the treasure of true joy in each moment. So what do you think? What is your purpose in life? And what are you passionate about? Do your purpose and passion lead you on a journey toward the same goal? I think it's great to spend some time thinking about your purpose and your passion, but at the same time, it's good to recognize that life is just about living and loving and experiencing it. And any other purpose we add to it is just for our own benefit, just something that we thought we might want to do. But it's only up to us, and we can choose to do it or not. Either way, we achieve our purpose in life just by living it. Remember, I have a free ebook available of this video and the slides uh, that you can have access to at esofterside.com. You can download the booklet there, and you can share it with your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you again on Storytime Therapy. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.